Hey guys, it's Campbell. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, hey, welcome to my channel. It's a pretty cool place. Um, I'm currently a ballet major at the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music, if you want to get fancy. And so today, I have a different kind of video planned. Vlogs tend to do well on my channel because they're like interesting and I love watching vlogs. But literally nothing is int interesting is going on in my life right now. Like, it it's the same old, same old, day in, day out. So I don't want to vlog that because you guys have already seen that. And so I'm trying to think of like different videos that I could do and see if you guys like them. So I'm doing another sit down video today. Comment below if there are some more sit down videos that you want to see. Because again, like I said, there's nothing really coming up until I have tech week um, at the end of November. Uh, so if you have some kind of questions you want me to answer or inspirations for a video, let me know down below. But today we are gonna be doing what's in my dance bag. Yay! So my intention behind this video is just kind of be like a cutesy little get to know me kind of thing. But then also I think it could be helpful if um, you're just kind of wondering like if there are things that you should have in your ballet bag or like recommendations or something. So here we go. <laughs> So first off, I need to show her in all her glory. So this is my Claudia Dean dance bag. I love Claudia Dean. If you don't know who that is, she's a YouTuber. Yeah, she gives a lot of like technique tips and stuff like that. She danced with the Royal Ballet. She's super cool. Anyway, so you guys should check out her channel. But that's my dance bag. Uh, I love it so much. It kind of reminds me of the Gaynor Minden one, but it's pink and I love pink. So I think it's great. But anyways, as you can see, adorned on the outside are my point shoes. A tip that I didn't learn until I was like much older from one of my teachers is that point shoes die faster if you keep them like inside a bag because they're all like dropped in there with like moisture and sweat and stuff like that. So they last longer if you actually let them air out for a little bit. So that's what I do. And it also saves room in my dance bag. But yeah, so let them chill out. So that's what that's doing there. Um, and I wear uh, Nicolet Stream Points. Uh, in the US, they're called Nicolet. If you're outside of the US, which most of you aren't, but if you are, uh, that's Grishko. Um, but yeah, I love them. I just switched into them like a few months ago and I really like them. So um, highly suggest. And so starting out on the outside in this little pocket over here, we have my Suffolk but arch roller thing. I love this thing. I got it from my local dance store, but you can probably order them online. So great, it's so good to roll out the arch of your foot. It feels really, really good. Um, and I feel like it's very contradictory, but as dancers, we very much like ignore our feet and we don't really roll them out. Roll them out, be nice to your feet. Um, and then the other thing that I have is another roller that I got from my sports massage therapist that I see back home. Um, and that's just to roll out muscles. Rolling out is really important. I say as I have not rolled out recently, but rolling out your muscles is very important. It helps break up like ten tension and like tissue and stuff like that. So suggest doing that. Okay, now let's get inside the bag, shall we? <laughs> okay, so first off, my point shoe bag is in here. So in here are like my toe pads, my toe spacers, my um, toe tape, and yeah, all that jazz that I need to put on my point shoes. And if you want, for like those of you who are kind of newer to ballet or who aren't really like in the sphere of it all, I can do a sew my point shoes kind of tutorial thing video or uh, like what to wear when you're wearing your point shoes. I can do that. Let me know down below if that would be something you're interested in. But anyways, continuing on, my black wrap skirt. Slay! So we're allowed to wear skirts at my school, which yes, I'm so excited about because at my old studio we weren't. And so I'm very, very excited. I'm more of a bar like with just a leotard kind of girly. And then I put a skirt on during center and for point, I don't know. I just, I like seeing my alignment at bar. And so I keep this in my bag to put on for center. And I wear black because it goes with everything. And most days I'm wearing a black leotard. So works out well, but I do have other like bullet point skirts and that I wear in different colors, depending on my mood. So next up are my leg warmers. They are Rubia wear. 
blue like full length leg warmers i love leg warmers and i love ruby wear they're expensive but in my opinion i feel like they're worth it i mean at least for me you can probably find like a cheaper version on there that does the same thing but i really like them they're very soft they keep my legs like nice and warm and you can get like half ones that are like just for your calf so they're like that long maybe i really like them they have a lot of different colors i have yellow ones but i'm currently missing one of my yellow ones because <laughs> i left it at the studio but and then i have purple ones as well so get yourself some leg warmers honestly i think they're worth the investment i love leg warmers okay next up theraband this is great for strengthening your feet. And your teachers are gonna tell you a million and one times to do your TheraBand exercises and genuinely like they're really helpful. Um, I should be doing them more often than I am, but they are really helpful and they do make your feet like really strong and it helps like for you to roll through your feet and stuff like that, the articulation and yada yada. They're really helpful. I suggest kind of doing it maybe before class, like a little warm up or like after class if you want to do strengthening, but they're really helpful. So I keep my hair in here. Moving on, a lacrosse ball. Lacrosse balls are really good for really targeting like tight muscles and stuff. Like if your calves are really bothering you or something, stick it on a lacrosse ball. It's gonna hurt, but it's gonna be a good hurt and it's gonna get the knot in your muscle. So invest in them i really like them i have a mini one around here somewhere but i lost it but so they're about that size they're pretty fun they're pretty cool i really like them and i just feel like for those like knots that are like deeper and tighter they really work better than like a foam thing where spray rosin <laughs> we're not allowed to use rosin on my floors and i know that's the case for a lot of you guys probably if you're like at an academy or something you're not allowed to use like some rosin on the floor and if you don't know what rosin is, that's totally fine. It's like this, you'll see it sometimes in like ballet classrooms. Like you have like a little rosin box in the front corner. It's like a little wood box and it has like little like crystallized kind of powdery stuff in there. And so you like crush it up and like you put it on like the box and like front part of your, like the demi point part of your point shoe. And it helps like give you traction and stops you from slipping. And so I don't use spray rosin on my shoes, like on those traditional parts of my shoe, because I personally don't find our floors super slippery. And so I never have a need for rosin and we can't use it anyways, but I use spray rosin for the inside heel of my point shoe, because I do have issues with them slipping off. Um, and this really helps. You spray a little bit on the inside of your shoe and they do not slide, they stay up. So I highly, highly recommend that if you're struggling with your the back of your shoe slipping off like first make sure that like it's just because it's slipping off not because it's like too big or the wrong size or something like that but spray rosin will help i promise and so this is block spray rosin i use it most people use it anyways moving on to the pockets mio energy this is um black cherry flavored I love these things. So you squeeze like a little bit into like your water. Um, it has like a amount. I usually do like two or three with my like 32 ounce hydro glass. I love it because one, it gives your water like a great flavor. They taste so good. And two, it has caffeine and B vitamins in it. So if I'm feeling a little sleepy, I get like a little extra caffeine and then also like vitamins and electrolytes. And you can get some Mio that isn't like energy. So it doesn't have any caffeine in it, um, but it still gives you like electrolytes and extra vitamins. And so if you're like me and you sweat a lot in class, I highly suggest it. It'll keep you hydrated and hydration and electrolytes are very, very important. So stay hydrated. Next up in the side corner is my gum. I personally like Orbit uh, Sweet Mint because I'm not a super minty girly. I like a little sweeter mint that I can chew on. You can't have gum in class. Let me just say that. I am not saying that you should be chewing gum in class. I have this like after lunch or in between classes when I had just eaten something and my breath smells rank. So please do not chew gum in class. You're gonna get in so much trouble. That is ballet etiquette. That's another good idea for a video. If you want to see a video on ballet etiquette, let me know because I have so many rules about that. Anyways, gum. I think it's personally very important if you're going to be doing partnering work 
or stuff where you're getting close with another person, just be, be considerate. You know, you're already around each other being like super sweaty and gross. You don't need stinky breath on top of that. So I keep gum in there, not to chew during class. And going along with that, I also keep a little bottle of perfume in my bag because one, you get stinky and sweaty at dance. And two, if you're there all day and like you don't have extra clothes to change it to and you're just not smelling the greatest, spray. And I also do this before partnering because I feel bad. Okay, next up, if you saw the light turn on, my roommate's here. She's hidden behind me, so you can't see her. But she's here, she's present. Anyways. Hello. <laughs> but anyways, next up, Biofreeze. I live off of Biofreeze, personally. Biofreeze, in case you don't know what it is, it's like a cream that like you, not like cream, it's like a gel cream-ish kind of thing that you put on areas that are sore, that hurt. So it's pain relief kind of vibe. Um, and so I have the roll-on kind. I think there's like a tube kind that you can like squeeze out and like apply, but I get the roll kind. So you would just like say my arm was hurting. I don't know why my arm would be hurting, but like you would roll it on and then you can rub it in with your hands, but make sure you wash your hands because if you like touch it with your hands and then touch your face, whoo, whoo, it, mm, it's gonna burn, it's gonna hurt. But I like it. I use it mainly on my shins because I tend to get uh, pretty bad shin splints, but I use it on there and it help. It doesn't take away all the pain, but it does take away some of it. It helps relieve it and just kind of cool it down. It has a very like cooling sensation, which I like. So a lot of people use Biofreeze. Uh, another version of this is like Tiger Balm that you can use. It does like the same thing. But yeah, so I use uh, Biofreeze. You can buy them on Amazon or in like a drugstore. Filming. I don't want to hit my key card. I was super like, ah, they're so cute. I know, aren't right. they? Oh my gosh. I love it. This is my Heather Duke blazer, and I cannot wait. This is what I will be wearing to school on Tuesday. That looks so good. Ah. Well, anyways, update in case I cut out the part. Isabel is gone blow drying her hair, so that's why the light is off now. And Allie's here. She's gonna be chilling in the background. Anyways. Back to what I was saying about hairspray. I have like this kind of mini-ish hairspray. Actually, my friend at Summer Intensives gave this bottle to me, but I bring it with me because one, you never know when it's like gonna be like, surprise, we actually have someone coming into the department who you care about. And so you need to spray down your hair or your hair is just not hairing that day. So you need extra hairspray. Or hairspray is also good for solving runs in your tights. You can do that. Like if you have like a, run that's starting to form in your tights or like a rip or something spray it and it'll stop it also hairspray is good for like your ribbons um because again along the ballet etiquette line that i was talking about your like ribbons are never supposed to like the little tail ends of it you're supposed to tuck it in and they're never supposed to come out so hairspray is really good for keeping those in so that's my hairspray <laughs> i found my mini ball yay i found it i, might need to... I was talking about it to them I found it. It was deep in my bag. Okay, next up, KT tape. We love KT tape. If you don't know what that is, it stands for kinesiology tape. And so you take like a little strip of them and there's like videos on YouTube of like how to apply it. And you just put it on places that like need a little extra su support. Um, so like my ankle was bothering me the other day. Um, and so just to keep it like from getting like further injured or something like that, I looked up like KT tape for ankle stability. You put it on, it helps keep everything in place and like take oh, leaves, alleviate some of like the pressure and pain off of it. So yeah, they're pretty much good for like any kind of pain that you have. They can go all over the body and you can get kind of like, you can get like um, waterproof ones if like you need to go in the water for whatever reason, but and they come in different colors. I got my like skin tone ones. They come in different like shades. So no matter your skin complexion, there is some for you. But I find that like, they don't show that well, they don't show up as much under tights. But like, I know some people who like really don't care about like their KT tape being shown. So they have like hot pink or like 
blue or green or something like that. And those will show through the tights, but I mean, if you don't care, you don't care. You can get whatever color you want. But I prefer ones that kind of match my skin tone so you can't really see that I'm wearing them. <laughs> An absolute must have in your dance bag. Please, I beg of everyone ever, please have this in your dance bag. Deodorant, please, I am begging you. I was talking about this earlier with my gum and my perfume. You just wanna smell good. And like, you don't need to smell like anything in particular, just smell good. And so sometimes either A, you forget to put on deodorant in the mornings, like you're rushing out and then you're like, oh no, I didn't put on any deodorant. Or B, it, you're sweating and it comes off. So please pack deodorant in your bag. I use Schmidt's natural deodorant. I think it smells really good, but please put it in your bag. Anyways, that's just my little rant. A notebook. I haven't really been keeping up with like writing corrections and stuff, but I think it is helpful um, or to write down choreography. I just think a journal is helpful to have in your bag for whatever you need to write down. Cause actually at dance there is a surprising number of stuff that you need to write down. So I suggest that. But yeah, so that's everything in my dance bag. These are just suggestions and like ideas for stuff that you can keep in your dance bag. And if you're younger and you're kind of starting to get more serious about ballet, this is what I have in my bag. And this is traditionally what I keep in my bag like at all times. It can vary depending on what I'm doing, but that's generally what I have in my bag and what most people have in their bags as well. Yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's again, kind of different from the videos that you guys really do like um, and are watching. But I hope you enjoyed this. I like getting to talk to you guys. I think it's fun. But I mean, if you think it's lame and you want more day in a life, I guess I can listen to what the people want. But, um, and also again, I just wanted to close out. Guys, we're at like 320 something subscribers. Woo! At 500, I'll smash a cake in Campbell's face. Oh, <laughs> at 500? At 500. Can't wait till a thousand. 500. A thousand's a different thing. Okay, well, you heard that from Allie. Please subscribe. And so I just want to say thank you so, so much. It's crazy. Like, I, two weeks ago, I remember I was filming The Week in the Life and we hit 100 subscribers. And then I was like, what was I doing? I was like editing it or something. No, it was like a week later, something happened. And we were at 200 subscribers. And then the next week we hit 300 subscribers. So we're growing so fast and I think it's crazy. So thank you. And also we're at about like 10 and a half thousand views on my day in a live video, which is insane. So thank you for that. I really appreciate that. This is really cool. I, I like getting to do this and I like that you guys like it. So I will keep doing it. Just leave the ideas down below of what you want to see. Um, next week there will be a vlog. I'm going to vlog Halloween. So vlogs will be happening. But I mean, in the meantime, let me know if there's other sit down videos you want, if you want like advice, if you want tutorials, stuff like that. A lot of you guys asked me for like those stretching, um, how do you get your split videos, warm up routines and stuff like that. I would like, that is on my list. I would love to make those videos. But the only problem is that like, I don't want to film them because I filmed a stretch video in my dorm room and I just feel like the lighting was weird and the vibes were just strange. I don't know. I want to make it more professional. So I think I'm gonna wait until I go home for Christmas, which is in the first week of December to film them. And I know, I know that's such a long time and I really wanna give you guys the videos like now, but I just think that they're gonna be better quality once I have like a space. Cause I have a new like little dance room back at my house. And so I think it'd just be easier to film it there and I can give you more information and I can actually like talk to you instead of just doing a voiceover. That was kind of weird last time. So yeah, I'm gonna wait until then, but they are coming, I promise. I'm, I see every single one of your comments and I like each one and I respond to most of them. So just know that if you comment down below, I will see it and it will go on my list. So um, yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Remember to like and subscribe and yeah. 